You have to imagine the state of Gibraltar as being the border between North Africa, Tangier being the northern tip of Africa, and the south of Europe. You had a place where everything was, was intertwined, um, and so that was the beginning of the story. I discovered that there was a, a sort of um, particular position for a population who is completely dispossessed. That's a consequence of the story of a people who all want to leave. That's what the strait was about. And that has a particular consequence on the place, on the way people are acting, on their bodies. There's a place in Tangier called the Wall of Lazy. There's men standing all day. In Morocco, you call them people who hold the wall. It's a name in Arabic, and in Algeria too. Uh, unemployed young people who are um, sort of floating and absent from the future of the country. In the Strait Project, there's a series of repetitive figures. There's a lot of walls. There's a lot of vacant lots. I'd say that the figures of men were in the same stage as a vacant lot for me. Um, there's a sort of parallel. These people are undesirable. When you are uh, reframing Morocco to make it uh, a sellable commodity on the international tourism market, you don't want to have people who are uh, standing on the side of the streets, um, sleeping in public parks, something that doesn't fit in the format. And I think these bodies, for me, were sort of figures of resistance. They're not sad. They're not lost. Um, they're not dangerous. Uh, uh, they don't fit, and it's good.